Hello and welcome back to For You Kids Club. Did you enjoy the music we just had? Thank you to Jill and the Taylors for that. That was amazing. Our story today is about Abraham and his sons. And it's taken right from the beginning of the Bible, from the book of Genesis. And it goes like this. This story is found in the very first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis. Abraham had two sons. The youngest boy, Isaac, was born to his wife, Sarah. And their older boy, Ishmael, was born to Hagar, his wife Sarah's Egyptian maid. Sarah was jealous of Abraham's firstborn son, and when she saw Ishmael mocking Isaac, she told her husband to send Hagar and Ishmael away. Abraham sadly gave Hagar a piece of bread and one bottle of water, and sent her and his son Ishmael off into the lonely, hot desert. Soon their water was gone, and it was so hot that Ishmael was dying of thirst. Hagar didn't want to see him die. She laid him under a bush, sat down a little way off, and started to cry. But then God sent an angel to help her. Do not be afraid. Lift up your son. God will make him the father of a great nation, promised the angel. Hagar obeyed the angel. She dried her eyes and got up. Then she saw a well of water nearby. They drank and they drank the water and they were saved. Ishmael was a wild-spirited boy and his descendants did, come, did become a great nation. Hagar believed God's promise that the angel had told her and they were safe. What an interesting story. So, maybe you want to pause the video now and answer this one question. What promises had God made to Abraham? Do you think you know? Well, God had promised Abraham that he would be the father of many nations. So Abraham and his wife Sarah doubted that God could give them a son. So Abraham had a son with Hagar, a boy called Ishmael. When Isaac came along, there was rivalry between these two boys and their wives. But God always keeps his promises and his love is big enough to go around. God showed his love and protection for both Ishmael and Isaac. Isaac was going to be the father of Jacob, from whom all of the Israelites have come. Ishmael also has many descendants who would be known as the Ishmaelites. Many years later, they were playing a key part in the story of Joseph. We'll be thinking about that story in a couple of weeks' time, but keep it in mind now, because God keeps his promises not once, but twice over. So maybe another question for you is, can you think of a time when God kept a promise to you? The Bible is full of loads of promises. It's great to recognise that when God fulfills his promises to us in the small things as well as the large, God provides our needs on a daily basis and is where we can go for whatever we need. The best thing to do when you need something, if you're struggling or if you've got plenty and you want to help someone, is to ask God for help. God always wants to help you. And how can we do that? Well, we can pray. So let's pray now. Thank you, God, that we can trust in you. Thank you, God, that you make promises that you will never break. You will always come through for us. So, Lord, we pray that we can believe in you. We pray that we can trust in you in everything we do. Amen. And now Lisa is going to show us a craft to do with this story. Good morning, children. It is really lovely and an absolute pleasure to be here with you today. Um, some of you may know me and some of you may not. My name is Lisa, for those of you who know me from Bubbles or All Saints Marlow. Um, my name is Mrs. Ben Hajali, for those of you who know me from um, Holy Trinity School and doing the Trinity Treasures Bible Craft Club. Now, I know today that you've been learning all about God's promises to us, so I'm going to go through a really nice little craft you can do to do with that. And the good thing is, this is not one of those crafts where you've got to have special things that you have to go down to the shops and buy this is a kind of craft that you can do with anything really that you've got in your house so I'm going to show you this this is what we call a promise card and it's got one of God's promises written on it now things you need for this craft are 
your pens, so pencil, pen, whatever you write in and some colours. A piece of paper, now I'm going to do one with you and I've just got some red card, but you can use whatever you've got at home. So coloured card, coloured paper, white paper, you could make a smaller one maybe if you're going to send yours in the post or give it to someone. Or another good suggestion is if you're doing it for somebody, you could take a little screenshot, a photo of it and send it over to them. So the one I've already done, um, this is in a heart, it is a verse from Isaiah. I've used some stickers that I've got. So I've got all different types of stickers here. I've got some stickers with letters on them. I've got some stickers with animals, some smiley face stickers, um, some flower stickers, some star stickers, but you can use whatever you've got at home. And even if you don't have any stickers, you can do things like drawing, colouring, or cutting out pictures out of magazines to decorate your own card. So I've got the letters here that make the word love. I've drawn my verse, my promise verse in a heart and decorated it with some flowers. And then I've done some stars and heart stickers and some smiley face stickers at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to draw another one, do another one with you. Now for this one, this is also from Isaiah, but it's a different promise. And it is, do not fear for I am with you. So I'm going to do this, this one on my red card. I'm going to show you as I'm going along. I'm going to write the verse first. So do not fear for I am with you and this is God telling us that even in our darkest times our hardest times our bad days he is always with us and he helps us knowing that he's in our heart and he loves us it helps us not be scared of anything now if you're a bit littler and you maybe can't write you could ask your parents uh, or somebody at home to write the verse for you and you can just do the decorating so I've now done this on my red card I've written my verse now I did my other one in a heart this one I'm going to draw it in a tree house because because I think a jungle would be quite somewhere I would be quite scared so I'm going to make this card a little bit jungly so I'm going to get a dark pen and sort of colour in my little tree house make it look like a little bit like wood now I'm also going to write on mine that that verse came from Isaiah Isaiah 41 verse 10 so if you're going to send it to somebody they'll know where about in the bible you've got your verse from now i'm going to decorate this one with i think some elephant stickers because we're going to be in the jungle so i'm going to use some of these elephants i'm going to stick them on all around the bottom of my tree house and let's see what that looks like i'm going to put one more on each side so as I say, you guys, can you can use your imaginations, you know, think about maybe whatever verse you pick. And I know that on the sheet that's um, going to be sent to you, there's some ideas, but you might also know some other promises that come from the Bible, or you might want to talk to your grown-ups about some other promises they know about the fact that God always loves us, something like that. And you might want to put a lot of love, maybe pictures of your family or something on yours. So I've now drawn my little tree house and I've put my elephants in the bottom. So do not fear, for I am with you, even if you're in the scariest of places like the jungle. And next, I'm going to use some more stickers. I'm going to use some of my star stickers, I think. I'm going to put them in the sky, because this could be at night. Sometimes people find the night a little bit scary, don't they? If, they're having, if it's dark, or maybe if they're having a nightmare, and that's a, a good time as well to remember that God is always with us, especially if we say our prayers just before we go to sleep. We should feel that God is in our hearts. I'm just going to have to use some more stickers off my other sheet and then I'll show you what it's looking like. Let's have a look. There we go. So now I've got my little tree house with my verse from the Bible, my sticky elephant and my sticky stars. So I could take a photo of this and I could send it maybe to somebody I knew, like a neighbour or a friend or someone in my family that maybe is a little bit scared of things at the moment because it is a little bit of a scary time what with coronavirus and everything being a bit stranger than it normally is and I could send that to them just so they know that God is thinking of them and God loves them and God says do not fear for I am with you. That is one of the many promises that God makes to us in the Bible. So have a look what you've got at home. 
get some stickers, get some cutting out, get your pens and your pencils ready to do some colouring. Um, and I'd love to see, um, maybe next time when I see you in church or in school, some of the lovely pictures and some of the lovely promise cards that you've made. Okay, guys, bye. Have fun doing your craft. Thanks, Lisa. Wasn't that a brilliant craft activity? Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. If you want to find more craft ideas and other stuff, go over to our digital church website or look us up on Facebook as ASM Churches. A last prayer for us to say together before we go. Dear God, thank you for the story of Abraham that reminds us that you always keep your promises. Thank you that you give to us abundantly, that you keep your promise to Abraham, to Isaac and to Ishmael. Thank you that you care for us. Thank you that you care for each one of us. And thank you that you give all that we need and more. We pray for all of those in the world who are struggling to have what they need. Lord, we pray that you would be their provider and their protector. Amen. God bless.